In this video, we are going to learn about PortFast. PortFast is one of the Cisco proprietary feature. This is an enhancement to the spanning tree protocol in order to speed up the network convergence on the access port. PortFast causes the port to enter to the forwarding state immediately bypassing the listening and the learning state. So let's learn in details today about the configuration of PortFast in this video. In this topology, I have taken a switch and a few end devices. I've taken four pieces uh, in order to form an access port on my switch so that I can configure my port fast on this switch here. But it's very necessary to keep in mind that we will not use this port fast on trunking ports. If you connect another switch here, okay, if you have another switch connected here, and if this is a link connected, you should not be using a port fast on, uh, feature on this switch because the STP is one of the common feature for all the switches. So, it will result in network loops, which is not a good sign. So we will always need to use port fast on access port. We also know that whenever you connect a end use a device to the switch, okay, it usually takes 30 seconds for convergence because by default STP is enabled on all the switches. Okay, so it takes 15 seconds of listening and 15 seconds of learning. Convergence time in order to uh, get this port here, converge it to forwarding state, okay? So, so the listening and learning happens on this port here, okay? In order to minimize this time, there is an enhancement of the Cisco proprietary using port fast. So in port fast, this time over here, that is listening and learning time is bypassed. So this port here, as soon as you connect your end user devices, it immediately gets converted to forwarding state. It doesn't need to wait for this uh, listening and learning status. So that's what we are going to configure today in our lab. So let's just uh, connect one of our PC to the switch and observe that delay in the convergence time. So I'm going to connect my PC here to this switch. And yes, you can see an amber color here on my fast uh, Ethernet 0 slash 1. So it seems like it's still uh, listening. Let's go and check that out in our global configuration mode. Okay, you just can see more here in the privilege mode. So show spanning tree. Yeah, so it's still it has started to learn the changes in the in the bpgus okay um so again it will yeah it is listening 
it has completed the listening mode and has entered the forwarding state and as of now on my switch i have not configured my port fast yet okay so let's also assume uh, another okay um, switch here okay i am going to connect this to another pc and quickly observe the changes on this listening and learning state show spanning tree it's listening again i'll just enter show spanning tree it's still listening you still see that 15 seconds delay yeah it has now transitioned from listening to learning state let's wait for 15 seconds to move that to a forwarding state yes so finally it has taken 30 seconds just to move from the listening to the blocking state right so in so this is not a good thing in a production environment because suppose assume that you have a new user here okay and he's plugged into my one of the switch connected here and he's trying to get a dhcp address okay from the dhcp server connected here or he wants to send any request to any server via the switch but what happens is there will be delay because every pieces will have to wait for that 30 seconds suppose i have another user sitting here and another user sitting here so if all these users or or waiting for that 30 seconds in a large scale industry it's just not a good sign so in order to quick this in order to make sure that we um, enhance this speed of network convergence on all this access port we can use port fast okay and uh, let's go ahead and configure uh, port fast on, uh, on our access port but before that let's enable our access port so what i, I since i have four pieces here i will assume now uh, five of my port to be connected as a access port okay so i go to switch one and uh, go to configuration mode and let i'll give a range i will assume that i have only four pieces and i'll assume i have five more um, ports that i will reserve it only for access port okay on my switch to the end end user devices so interface range uh, fast ethernet uh, zero slash one till five okay so this is the range of uh, port i would like to configure them to a uh, access port so switch port mode access and i gave spanning tree port fast so we now have our port fast enabled okay so you can see one of this warning message here it says that um, port fast has been configured on the switch uh, sorry on my fast ethernet but will have effect when the interface is in non-trunking mode that means you should never be using the port fast for uh, a, a, for a switch and a switch because you know that a switch and a switch will result in a trunk by default right so you cannot be using the this you know trunking environment okay so it has to be used only in a access port environment only not in a trunking mode okay and but what happens is it says that um so 
yeah so this can be herb uh, okay this can be your herbs or switches or your bridges so they're all called as networking devices so if you connect any uh, switch here or a hub here or a bridge here okay where you have your port first assume that you have your port pass enabled here and you connect a a switch over here so it will cause temporary bridging loops so that's the reason why you cannot use a port fast on a trunking mode in order to minimize this bridging loop always use port fast on access port only okay so yes so we have done uh, the configuration on your switch right now. So let's connect one of the um, PCs and you should be able to see that the port will immediately transition to forwarding state. Okay, so yes, you do not see any amber right now. So it's all green, so let's verify. Um, so show spanning tree yes so you will not be able to see any listening or or learning state here so it has the fast ethernet zero slash tree that you see here has immediately transitioned to forwarding state and same similarly you can observe the same over here you will not be able to see any amber color lights here like you did before from configuring your port fast earlier but yes if you want to verify it you can go to show spanning tree and yes you have your fourth port here fast ethernet zero slash four which is in a forwarding state so yes so by this it is very clear that once you enable the port fast on your access port on the switches then you will be able to quickly uh, transition to forwarding state by uh, by the method of bypassing the listening and the learning state okay i hope that this video has been helpful to you all uh, please stay tuned and do subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next video.